Sugar Boogers and welcome back to my channel for another stuff pack review. Today we're going to be reviewing the movie hangout stuff that was released today and essentially what it is is a kind of like a bohemian themed stuff pack for hanging out with your BFFs or just friends gathering around the big screen and having a little popcorn in hand. I'm going to go ahead and tell you all about this stuff pack in just a moment but first we're going to hop into create a sim and and check out the brand new cast item. Here we are in cast. Now I did actually go ahead and just kind of familiarize myself with this stuff pack before I went ahead and filmed this video just because it's going to be a little more straightforward. I have a better understanding of what's in it and you know what just Jen being Jen I probably will miss a few things but that will just be kind of like a hidden gem for you to discover later. Now the big factor I know a lot of you are going to ask is how much are stuff packs typically. Um, unlike the Sims 3 or Sims yeah the Sims three days where you know they could be $30, $40. I mean, they could be really, really expensive. The stuff packs are only $9.99 every time, um, all the time. And then I do believe the game packs are $19.99, and then you know, uh, the expansion packs are $29.99, something like that. Um, I really do feel like these stuff packs are super duper affordable in my personal opinion because even if I only like a couple of the items, I remember when premium items in the Sims 3 store were easily, and I mean easily, <laughs> uh, like 10 bucks sometimes. It was kind of crazy. So as I mentioned earlier, this is kind of like, and at least in my personal opinion, a lot of these clothes are super bohemian. Uh, bohemian chic and just really, really, and they kind of remind me of a little bit of hippie clothing too. Um, and they're really colorful and bright. And this honestly does remind me of the Bohemian set from The Sims 3 a little bit. And I love that that set. I just love how different it is and how the clothes just, I don't know. They really, 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 really stand out to me. Also, they go perfectly with Get Together, in my personal opinion, anyway. So let's go ahead and start off with the girls, because ladies first. We have Christy Gustafson here, and she is decked out in brand new movie hangout stuff with attire. So we're going to start with the top and work our way down. So for the females, there are a couple new hairstyles. Like I think there's four. Oh, there's actually four to be exact. Two are technically the same. It's just different like color swatches or whatever. So we have this first one, which trust me, it was a huge relief to see. We're getting more, like, we have more diverse hairstyles. There we go. And I like it. I dig it. So this is kind of what this looks like. These uh, are like dreads, but they're also kind of like, I don't know if they're just dreads or these are like kind of, I think it's called cornrow, corn rolls, um, cor corn road in there. I don't know, but I like them. I do. I really love those ones. And then this one here is definitely one of my favorites because it has like this very bohemian um, style to it with the braids and then the loose waves kind of down at the end and the hairbrush to one side. I really love that one. Just typical kind of, you know, normal uh, swatches here. I really do love that hairstyle. And then this one, it's just, it's one of my favorites because I'm so biased when it comes to like ponytails and updos. And of course it has to have the braids and it's a long pony too, which is really, really exciting. And it has like these beautiful layers that kind of just, you know, waterfall down and it's just a really cool hairstyle as well. So we have the first hairstyle, but in a different type of color pattern, it's almost like there's highlights in here. Um, and again, it's same exact hairstyle, like kind of like a half updo, half um, down sort of deal. And then the little corn rose in there too. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put Christy back in her original hair. Uh, style there. I don't know if there's any new hats or anything. I don't think that there was. I can't really remember. Oh, there is. Oh my gosh. I totally missed this one in the beginning then. Oh wow. I'm surprised. This is new to me. So here's this little hat here. I don't know exactly what type of hat you would call this, but I like it. You know, it reminds me of the Lindsay Lohan and Sam. What was her name days? I don't know. This is like really early 2000s though, like 2007. I don't remember, but yeah, it reminds me of, of the hat she would wear. Um, we also do have a one one new pair of shades, which I really do enjoy these because these are so in right now. Um, the big like bubble shades, I guess is what you could call them, or hippie shades, whatever. Uh, but I really love these because they have like the translucent lenses, and you can just and even gradient lenses too, which is typically my favorite. I love a black frame and a gradient lens. That's me every day, all day. <laughs> also, these ones too are really fun. I don't know. I just think the the freaking clothes and stuff. Oh, I just love it. I really, really, really do. It's exciting. I would have loved to see. I love to have seen some bohemian jewelry but it doesn't look like we're gonna be getting that lucky today um okay let's see if there's any makeup no no new makeup or anything 
like that. But we do have some new styled looks in this pack. We have the artsy fancy flare. Could you do an artsy fartsy flare? But maybe fartsy is offensive. I don't know. <laughs> it's not 2015 anymore, people. Um, <laughs> so this is this one. And it comes in a couple different uh, style combos, which I also super duper 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 adore. Number two is... Um, I think it's called Rhapsodist Dream. I'm not exactly sure, but ooh, my goodness. This girl is on fuego. I love it. Uh, just this maxi dress with the belt here and just all the texture and color that went into this. It's just so beautiful. And you're going to see later how freaking colorful this pack is. And it's just like the most vibrant pinks and purples and blues and all sorts of beautiful tones. Um, so this is the second swatch here, second color style. Then we have just a plain white one with a little bit of accent and detail up on the top there. Same belt. And this one is kind of like a tie-dye sort of color. It always trips me out when I'm spitting and they're like over there moving. <laughs> and then we also have this dress here. This definitely inspires me to make more around the world casts because this girl, she, she's killing me right now. She's so beautiful. She like reminds me of like an, like an African goddess i don't know she's so beautiful i love her she's so majestic right there um and then number three is this chick who's also super super cool she kind of reminds me of someone like i would love to hang out with <laughs> seems like the life of the party it's called offbeat charm and as you can see they pair it with uh some of the earrings that come with the base game but it has like this um kind of like crop top spaghetti strap kind of style here very like loose and flowy i could actually really see this just kind of moving in the wind in game also it buttons in the front and you can kind of see that Little bit of detail where maybe there's just a little bit of space in the bottom of the shirt and down here we have some bell bottoms with almost like an aztec -y print actually um, but i really love those and just even the glimmer and the shine of this little like waist belt thing um, even the tie in the back it just it looks like she layered all these pieces on and i love it I think these are the new sandals but we'll take a, a better gander at those in just a moment so yeah we only get three but I love them. I think they did a really good job with that. So let's go ahead and get into the tops just to see if there is anything that I didn't showcase just by using the pre-made outfits. We have this top here, which is like a three-quarter crop top, which I like. It also has like this little detail in the front and some details on the side there. Also a whole bunch of different color patterns and colors, even some gradients and things of that sort. So you're never really gonna get bored of this style. You get to play around and switch it up all different um, types of options that you have there. So this is the shirt that I just showed you guys, which is actually probably my favorite of the two, something I could really see even Rossi wearing or Isabella, especially Isabella. This has Isabella written all over it from my get together LP all day, every day. Like she would so be at the like movies or whatever, chilling and hanging out with friends and dressing in these cool digs that would be her she's gonna love this um and like i said just a whole bunch of different types of styles and flavors in there for sims who are from all different sorts of like you know walks of life backgrounds or just personal taste really okay so let's go move to the bottoms uh, i don't know if there's anything other than these pantalones because that's honestly all that i see uh oh we, okay yeah we do have the bell bottoms like kind of like the aztec -y bell bottoms and you can play around with the color and style choice, as you can see. So you get a lot of different options there. Then we have the shorts, which are really, really pretty. Kind of remind me of something in Get Together, but I do love like the little lacy detail on them. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you, this makes me miss summer so much. <laughs> it really does, I kinda hate it. But um, yeah, so that's that. And then here are a better, or here is a better. <laughs> yeah, you start just putting a little more effort into my speech. <gasps> um, I'm so relaxed sometimes, I'm just like, I say whatever comes to my mind. Um, but here are, here are, here is, here is, I've been out of school way too long. Here is a better view of the sandals I mentioned earlier. So those are really cool. I could see myself using um, those with just a variety of different outfits. So for full body, I do think there was a couple things in here. Um, we have this shirt dress, kind of like a shirt dress. It's more like a dress. Um, which has like the little cutouts. It has like a deep plunge in it. Definitely some cleavage action showing there. And even some layered details with a little bit of cinching going on in the back. This one is the maxi dress that you guys pretty much saw um, all about earlier. And this dress as well, which was in the very first um, pre-made outfit, I guess. So I think, and I'm not sure, but I'm pretty positive that is all. 
that comes in this pack. Yes, or for the women. So the, the kids do get a little something something. Obviously, I'm going to have to put a kid in here now because I forgot that I needed that. So we're going to go ahead and just use a imaginary child. All right, so we're going to do girls first. And they do get two tops. They get one top more than the boys do. So they get this one here, which kind of reminds me of something we already have in base game. I might be wrong, but I do feel like we already have this. And then here's just like a recolor of a sweater. I'm not going to lie. I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like they kind of, they kind of, yeah, see, like, look, oh, it's just, it, it seriously, see, like, there we go. I mean, uh, I'm going to say it, I could have, I, I could download this, like, what, this doesn't, this doesn't do anything for me. I'm going to say it, it may be harsh, but I'm going to be, I'm going to be real. No, no, I, like, really, come on, for reals. You, you gotta, you gotta stay away from this type of things out. Like, bring us something new, please. If you're gonna do it, do it right. Like, that's just what I'm gonna say. Like, if you're gonna, if you're gonna put, if you're gonna go 80, might as well go 100. You know what I mean? Like, there's a sweatshirt right there. Do I appreciate it? Eh, yes, of course. But I feel like, I feel like the EA team's pretty talented. And I, I think that they could have done a little bit better, to be honest, with the kids' clothes. I didn't realize they were exactly something we have in EA. Or in, uh, just like the base game, even. So I'm a little disappointed in that. And then these are, again, just like some similar pants. Like these are exactly the ones that we I feel like we have already. We may not have these. So before I speak my mess, let me just go ahead and double check really fast. I mean, honestly, they are pretty similar. Okay, so like Get to Work has a similar pair. But these ones, okay, I'll give you credit. These ones are a little bit different. A little bit. Wait, no. No. I lie. I lie. Do I really? Oh, no. Okay, so everything that comes for the kids is pretty much in base game. So if you're looking for some new content for your children's, this is not the place you gonna get it, okay? So let's just see. The same shirt deal. I don't think there's any new shoes. There might have been new shoes for the girls. I honestly I haven't even looked. No. Okay, so don't expect anything new for your kids, really. I mean, you get a couple new... Um, like text, not textures, but like style, prints rather, print differences, but it's the exact same base mesh. Okay, so where they lack in the kids, which is, I guess, okay, but I would have liked to see just a little bit more for the children. They definitely do make up for the the um, adults. I will say that because these clothes that they have done for the adults just blow my mind. They rock my world. I am super duper impressed. So two new hairstyles for the guys. We have this kind of like short, shaved and then it's just more of like this loose llama mess on top I do like these hairstyles a lot both of them and I love this like Fonzio um I can't believe it's not butter hairstyle like I love this one this one's seriously one of my most favorite hairstyles for men ever because it's like the right amount of sexy like I'm not gonna lie to you it's hot I like it they do a good job on those no new facial hairs or anything like that for the men um not that I would even know what that would look like but I was just throwing that out there so the men do have the same glasses I do believe they have the same hat, which actually looks pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I really do like Everett. He's a cool guy. And then let me see. For styled looks, we have the Point Breaker. Woohoo! Very relaxed, styled outfit. I, you know, it just kind of blows my mind how amazing they did with the clothes for the male and females. But the children, again, are just not getting any love. <laughs> I feel like that all the time. Um, I just do. I don't know. I'm sorry if you don't agree, but that's the point breaker. And then here is the layback mastery, which is really cool. I love these shoes, by the way, you guys. I just love how there's detail on everything. This is a really cool outfit. Okay, so I think that was it. Um, there's just two style looks there. So if we go hop into the tops, you're going to see a pretty big selection. We have like five new tops for the males. Um, arranging in all different sorts of styles. So we have like this, you know, three quarter shirt, you know, with a little pocket on top. This one is just like a, um, I guess this is kind of what this is called. I don't know. It's not, it's not called a camisole because that's what goes under it. I don't know. It's like, pff, I forgot, but there's a tank top underneath and then there's this cardigan. There we go. Kind of deal. Um, and then a whole bunch of different prints and styles. I just, I really do love these. I really, really do. I even love just the simplicity of this shirt because as simple as it is, it's just so Fazio, like Fazio. It's just, it's cool. I like it. I love the detail. I love the ruched sleeves. I love the buttons. Like he was too lazy to button them all up or he just wanted to show some non-existent chest hair. 
whatever the situation may be, this shirt rocks my socks. I also really do love this one because the detail, like it's, it looks like he's actually wearing the shirt. And I, you already know how I love when it looks like they're wearing the shirt versus the shirt's wearing them. You get what I mean? So, and then we have just like this really clean one here that I could see like this cool guy coming to pick up a chick on a date, like a movie date, you know, just with his hair kind of like, no, you know, it's like not trying too hard kind of deal. I don't know. I like it. And then this one is probably one of my favorites because it just, again, it has a lot of detail there. Um, it's very out of the box. I love the way that, you know, it just, it just has so much personality. It's really how I could describe everything. It has a lot of personality, this pack. And that is what I realized lately I have a true appreciation for. It's just something that is just different from everything else, like in its own lane, you know what I mean? So here are the pants, which I really do like too, because they have this kind of cool, like oil slick kind of paint detail to them. And uh, a couple other different types of just basic denim colors. These pants too are really, really cool. Like I said, they went with his out outfit that you saw earlier. And I think that's about it. Um, I do believe they have some shoes, just one pair of shoes, just one pair of boots actually. And uh, that is about it for the cast. Now, remember, I might have missed something, but if I did, that's just something for you to find out a little bit later. But again, the boys, they don't get anything different than the girls, so I didn't miss anything there, I don't think. But all right, let's go ahead and jump into the real gem of this review and start playing with the new content. Here is the lot that we're actually using for this demonstration. I did download this from the gallery. It is called, it's by Max's Creator. I don't know if that's like the official Max's or not, but it is called Outdoor Movie Screen by Max's Creator underscore 01. Um, there is nothing on the inside, so you could decorate it yourselves. Um, I just threw in basically, I made it like a gallery <laughs> for all the stuff that comes in this pack, but. It is somewhat decorated just in this one. Uh, sorry, so I'm gonna just show you guys what it looks like. I really do think this would be a cool little place to live if you did decorate it. Um, this is the inside. It just like I said, it literally looks like a freaking clown just threw up in here <laughs> because I just kind of threw everything in this room so we could go ahead and showcase it. And then outside is where we have our movie screening. It's kind of like a backyard oasis. It's a really cool hangout, so much so that I think, uh, wait, who's this? This is Katrina, I think. Katrina Caliente is a little bit jealous. All right, so let me show you guys around some of the new objects. So obviously we have two big movie screening um, situations. So you have this one that would probably go great in a theater. Now I know some of you were probably thinking this was like a movie theater pack. Now it isn't specifically that. It is more for like home viewing, but you could get creative and you could make a venue for the movie theaters. Um, I think that'd be a really good idea using this. I'm pretty sure you could scale this even and make it even bigger. So it's more of a true authentic, um, you know, movie theater kind of thing, uh, or projector. Or you could do like a drive through or drive in or whatever the hell it's called, movie theater kind of viewing thing or like an outdoor movie viewing. You could get creative with it. It's basically what I'm saying. So I did too kind of think it was like that. Um, but I, I've kind of learned that it requires, some of these things require a little bit more creativity on your behalf. So I know for a fact that I will be making a movie theater out of this and also maybe using it for some of my richer, bougier sims um, as a means of or a form of entertainment. So here's the one that goes on the outside and we have like these little, I see I'm telling you, this is exactly from the Bohemian stuff from freaking Sensory. We have the exact same kind of like little Ottoman slash beanbag thingamajiggers. I have no idea what those are called. Um, we have uh, some wicker furniture, these new trees that have these lights that hang from them. I do think they actually turn on at night to give a really nice ambiance. They do. I just love the way that that kind of glows just ever so, ever so slightly. It's really, really pretty. Um, and then we have this table and these decor items, uh, this sofa over there. And what else do we have back here that I can show you? This plant is also a part of it. This beautiful like peacock mural is also another piece. Uh, this little shindig that's outside is also new. And this right here is honestly, it blew my mind when I saw it. This is a mirrored freaking coffee table that reflects everything that it that like beams off of it or you know whatever the heck it's called that is so freaking cool I love mirrored furniture so I'd really really love if they brought more of that into the game and this is like oh, I never even thought of it you know when I saw this I was like oh my god like this right here is worth the nine dollars for me because this is so freaking 
up my alley. I can't even handle it. It's just so gorgeous. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. Also, these candles are uh, another part of the set, and they do have a little bit of an animation to them, which is so great to see. Uh, I don't know if this is anything new, actually. I don't think it is. Let me go ahead and just check. Every time I'm like, when in doubt, you know, you got to figure it out. Um, is this gas lamp new? No, it's not. It's part of the base game. Okay, it just looked new sitting there. All right, so these doors are new indeed. You get two new doors. Boop, 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 boop. These two doors are really, really cool. I love like the how they look weathered. And they just seem like they have a lot of personality to them. So there's the popcorn machine, which I'm sure a lot of you are excited to see. Um, and then we have pretty much the other things I showed you guys outside. We have some new posters. A few did come up with the update. But you get like a whole new set of posters with this pack. So we have those. Um, the full set is actually on this wall here. So you can see, I think there's six. So with that one, or there might be a five. I don't know, but basically this is the wide array of posters, which would be good for a movie theater. Um, we have brand new curtains, these lights that seriously illuminate like nobody's business. They illuminate so evenly and in a wide space. Only thing I don't like is that they're so low to the ceiling um, that it actually causes conflict with anything underneath it, but they seriously just bright up the place. Like I, I love them and they're kind of like these glass stained sort of shindigs and they just, they're so beautiful. So beautiful. I could actually see a little, uh, teenage, not little girl, but like a teenage room using these items. Like they are great. And then this one is also another one that you get, um, this chair. You guys see what I'm talking about when I mean like just personality and color and all that jazz. Like there's just so much different variations and you can even just go bear with it too. And that's also really, really refreshing. And sometimes you get all these types of crazy colors and you just want something a little more played down. You have a couple options there. You know what I mean? It's just kind of whatever level of craziness you're, you're comfortable with. I think this one also has that option too. See, like that'd be beautiful for a little girl's room. That's just my personal two cents. I think all of these pretty much have that variation. So it looks like there's like a plain white set too. Oh, okay. What about the coffee table? Oh, <gasps> yes. Okay, so it seems like you can just get with how crazy or how, or how simple you want, really. All right, so there's those. And then obviously you can change the border on the movie, um, movie posters. Here is this little, it looks like it's supposed to be one of those tables that kind of fold up or fold down, but it appears to be one of the um, tables that you put like, little knickknacks and, and statues and things on. But I really do like that a lot. That's really pretty. Anything else in here that I'm missing? I feel like there is. Oh, this new vase, like with the stained glass and these beautiful tulips. So pretty. It reminds me of like a little mermaid. I don't know. It just, oh my gosh, it does way too much to me. I love it too much. Oh, I'm so excited. I have people here, by the way. So if I'm a little quiet, you know, that's why. <laughs> you know. It is what it is. Um, this is the brand new dining table. And then you also have these chairs. And again, you can get with how crazy or how, how simple you want. Just kind of depends on your liking. Um, there's two new styles of chairs. And then uh, I used this little guy to go at the end. I don't know. I just thought it looked cool. So let me see. I think I showed you guys pretty much everything that I could find anyways. Um, again, could really potentially be missing something. But overall, I feel like we have a great variety of items. Um, it got really quiet. So I feel like we got a really nice variety of items. I feel like a lot of these items I personally will be using uh, in just different builds and things like that. And um, I'm really happy with the selection, honestly. I really, 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 really love it. Also, I mean, we got two brand new items that actually have some sort of function to them. So I think the first thing that we're going to talk about um, I think if I deleted it, I might have deleted it. So here is the brand new popcorn machine. So what you can do is empty the popper, grab a serving, or you can also go ahead and um, cook your own popcorn. Now, if you do have a cooking skill over seven, uh, which is pretty high up there, I feel like, then you can finally find out how to add caramel or caramel to your your um <laughs> your concoction. Now, I, I find that a little weird. Like, really? I need to be at level seven to learn how to put some damn caramel in my popcorn? Mm-hmm. And also, if you don't have a good cooking skill, it is a very strong possibility that you are going to burn the popcorn, too, in a cooker that cooks it for you. 
I don't know. Don't ask me. But it, it's just the way that it is. So I also know that um, in scary movies and stuff, like if you're watching a, a scary movie and your sim gets spooked, they could <laughs> throw their freaking popcorn everywhere, which is really, really, really funny. It's a funny animation to see. And also sometimes they get a little ballsy and they like to toss the popcorn in the air and it lands in their mouth. I thought that was also really, really cute. And I love the animation of the popcorn machine. I'm, I'm clowning on it a little bit, but I do love it a lot. I think it's actually really cute. And I love the fact that they can actually have popcorn and watch it in a movie. So here she goes. She's going to go ahead and grab a serving. She obviously has that classic buttered popcorn and it steams too. I don't know if you guys can catch that, um, but there's a little, there's a little heat coming from it. Probably not now because it's cooled down. She's been walking with it for five minutes now. Um, oh no, you saw it right there. And uh, she's coming down to watch the movie, which I like. So if there's a movie playing, they will automatically come to the movie and sit down, which is like, what? <laughs> I mean, how do you know this? Um, I feel like a lot of the times that is just not a thing in The Sims, but they do. They come and they sit down. This one, you can kind of see like the little rays projecting from the projector, which I think is really, really, really cute. So I bet you're wondering the interactions of the, um, the projector or the movie screen. So you could do watch current movie. You can also, I do believe you can watch TV from these things. Yeah, I know you could totally watch TV with these uh, from these things. You can watch movie with or just watch a movie by yourself or watch current movie, which is really cool because you get a lot of freaking movie options. You got a ton here. You, I just can't even count. There's just so many. Um, I think there specifically is like, that's eight, nine, ten different movie choices. and So maybe 11 because we are watching one now. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, there's quite a bit. You've got some, you got a kid's movie. You've got college cram, which I'm not sure what the hell that means. Like a BB, like a young adult movie. Um, you've got some scary movies and di watch diamonds are for Sims. <laughs> um, just all different kind of like movies to romance. I think there is some romance movie movies in here too. Um, all sorts of stuff. So we're going to go ahead and watch Moonlight Massacre. And, we're, and you can select who you want to watch the movie with, which is perfect. So, like, if you're going to a movie as a couple or something, you can watch together. Um, I don't know if anything's going to happen, but she's she's actually eating her popcorn right now and watching the movie. Really having a good time sitting with friends, and they're all just sitting here watching it. Uh, even looking at their facial expressions, it's pretty freaking hilarious sometimes. You know, some of them are amused. Some of them are bored. Um, they get all different types of emotions in here. I think Everest is a really hard one to please. Like, he watches so many of these movies, and he's like, uh, boring. But he seems to really like scary movies. So that was the movie. It's over already. It was really, 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 really fast. Um, I think, or wait to watch. Wait to watch. What are they waiting for, exactly? I'm kind of curious. Um, they're waiting to watch? Okay, well, let's go ahead and watch Sims of the Dead, I guess. And we'll have them all sit down. So it's like they're waiting to watch another movie? I don't know. It's kind of interesting. So here's another scary film. I'm trying to just see her, like, spill her popcorn everywhere. But I don't think it's going to happen here. It's okay if it doesn't. I want to see her at least throw it in her mouth. It's really, really cute. See, she's not digging this movie. She's, like, getting freaked out over there. <laughs> and the boys are seem really... Oh, there she goes. She just threw her popcorn everywhere. Do you see that? Oh, that is so cute. <laughs> She, oh, yeah, that is pretty scary. Look at that. Aw, The Sims 3 Days. Everyone seems to be really petrified by this movie. So they also throw, ooh, that is kind of graphic. They also, see, she just threw it, um, the popcorn into their mouths. But I don't think they're feeling scared or anything. Um, interesting flick. See, from watching a movie, that movie was interesting, worth a watch, at least this once. And some of them are boring, and they're like, I would never watch that movie again. And then some other ones probably make you feel all different sorts of types of emotions and feels. So, with that said, I do believe that is pretty much it that comes with this pack. I feel like there's a lot of content. I feel like I did a lot of blabbing. Um, and I feel like a lot of you are really going to love this. So, if you guys do indeed um actually find this interesting let me know in the comments down below what are your thoughts on this stuff pack will you be picking it up what is your favorite thing and uh what do you what do you what do you just your overall thoughts what do you think about it because i love it i do i would definitely recommend this um like i said just getting creative with it and incorporating it in other ways in your game more than what it was just built for 
um, would be a great way to kind of get your money's worth. But I love it. I really do. And yes, I would buy this again. Absolutely. Hands down any day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review um, slash overview. And uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye guys. He's staring at He's like, nice tats, bruh. <laughs> And Q's like, can you please stop staring at my nipples? You're making me uncomfortable. <laughs> well...